Generally, to create your quiz, you'll be applying single question templates to individual pages, and then applying your results template to a separate page. If you want to have a basic linear quiz and show all the questions, you'll want to use the linear question results template, and put that at the end after your questions. Here's a structure that you would use. So here is the regular lesson content, and here is the quiz content. After page 3, you would see question 1, question 2, question 3, and so on, until you encountered the results page. After that, you would continue to the next page in the lesson. Here it's called End. For advanced applications, such as randomizing questions or question pooling, where you have 10 questions but want to randomly select 5, you'll want to select the Randomized Quiz Controller template, and structure your lesson like this. Here is the regular lesson content, and here is the quiz content. Here the quiz controller comes before the questions and controls how many questions are shown as well as which question to show next and also ends up displaying your results. When you are done with the results, the lesson will progress outside of the subflow to the next page. Note that you can switch between the two without too much trouble, so if you just want a linear quiz for now but may change your mind later, that's fine. Just start with a linear quiz. This particular video deals with the randomized type of quiz. Please see the other video for how to set up a linear quiz. So here I am in my lesson, and I'm ready to start adding questions, which I will do by using templates. So first I'll create a new page. And then I will go up to Template, Apply Template, go to the Questions category, and here I'll choose a multiple choice type question. And then I will paste in my text and fill in my answer choices. And here I can see the template has been applied to my lesson. I've gone ahead and added more questions to my lesson using more templates, so now I have a total of five questions, and I'm ready to set up my quiz. In this case, we want to show a random set of three questions out of the five total, so I'll need to use a quiz controller to set that up. I'll go to the end of my lesson, and I'll create a new subflow. A subflow is a way of containing a section of the flow so that it is easier to deal with. In this case, it allows me to easily exit the quiz when it is done and progress with my lesson, perhaps to a certificate page. The randomized quiz controller needs a subflow in order to continue. So I'll change the name of this page that was added inside the subflow to Quiz Controller. From here, I'll start dragging my questions into the subflow. So for question one, I'll click on that, and then drag it so that it comes right after my Quiz Controller. Then we'll grab question 2, and I'll drag that below question 1. I'll repeat that for the other three questions. You can use this blue line to see exactly where the page is going to be dropped.
Finally, I'll drag the entire subflow so that it comes before the end of my lesson. So I'll select the dotted line that marks the boundaries of the subflow, and then drag the whole thing to where I want it. Next, I'll return to the quiz controller page and apply my quiz controller template here. So we'll go up to template, apply template. We'll go to the quizzing category and choose randomized quiz controller. Here I can change some of the settings. So I do want to show an introduction message. So I'll leave that checked with the default text. I do want my quiz to be randomized, but I do not want to show all of my questions. So I'll click specify number of questions and change this to three. From here, I can change my pass and fail message, but the defaults seem okay. And the passing threshold, I'll change that to 67%. And I don't need to show the passing threshold, so I can uncheck that. From here, I can also turn off the SCORM reporting properties. For example, perhaps this is just a knowledge check, and I don't want this score to be reported to the LMS, nor to mark the whole lesson as passed if they complete just this one little quiz. In this case, I'll leave them all checked. They won't do anything unless I export this as a SCORM package and upload it to an LMS. Then I'll click OK. And here I can see that my template has been applied. There's the intro message, as well as the results. At this point, we're ready to preview. So I'll preview right here from my quiz controller page. And here I can see my introduction message and my begin button. So once I click begin, I'm randomly served up one of my five questions. So we'll get this one correct. And we'll get another randomly served up question correct. And then we're given a third random question. And this one we will get incorrect. And then when I click continue, it's going to show me my results. So there were three points possible, and I earned two out of three points for a score of 67%. And then the continue button here exits the subflow and goes to the next page in the lesson. In this case, it's just a simple end page. If I were to preview this again, I might get some of those same questions, and if I had a larger pool, I might not see the same questions on subsequent attempts. Note that each question defaulted to record the results in quiz one. Similarly, the quiz controller is set to show the results for quiz one. If I have multiple quizzes in the same lesson that I want to track separately, then I would choose quiz 2 or quiz 3 for each question, and then the corresponding quiz here in the quiz controller. If I want to have questions that do not factor into any score, perhaps knowledge check questions sprinkled through the lesson, but then a final quiz later, then I would choose record results in none for those particular questions. These questions will be ignored by any results pages.